Hi, uh, this is one of the response videos to the videos uploaded by Sal Khan on uh, Introduction to Ellipses. In this video, I am discussing basically the same uh, concepts told by Sal Khan in his video, but I request you to first go through that Sal Khan's video because uh, I am going to be a little more practical and hands on in terms of uh, applying this whatever knowledge we gain from Sal Khan's videos. I have uh, I'm a big fan of uh, Sal's videos and I've wa I've been watching Khan Academy videos from long time now and almost I've watched most of the videos in that and uh, it feels good to post a reply to him. Okay, uh, let's get on with uh, the business of this video. Uh, the equation of ellipse is uh, shown here where P and Q are the center point of the ellipse and A and B are the semi major axis in x and y directions respectively and you have known this equation of ellipse from uh, from basic theory uh, i can rearrange this equation to express in terms of y so y is equal to okay so this term goes to the right and then gets subtracted from one and the square root then goes and then b square goes and finally the minus q goes towards the right side become plus q and so we get this term it's a Stra fairly straightforward conversion from left side to right side of all the terms except y. So uh, from this I can uh, write uh, in the form of a stringle line. So this is usually the coding kind of writing or uh, like f excel formula kind of uh, writing. The same expression above is written in the form of a square root. And this plus or minus uh, which we are uh, talking about y so we have two values of y. So I just repeated the same equation with one plus and one minus. So in this uh, uh, in this video we are trying to uh, simulate these two values of y, these two expressions for y, and see what kind of shapes come. So uh, let let us get started. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll start with the parameters first. A, B. P and Q are my parameters. So I can give some values for A, A, B, P and Q. So let's say A is 3 and take it down and B is let's say 5 and P is 0 and Q is 0. So we begin with uh, origin point at the center uh, and X and Y are my uh, values that I am interested to find. And x, I will take a range for x. Uh, so I start from minus 5 and I will take a step of 0.5. So I am just giving a uh, formula for adding 0.5 to the previous uh, number. So a37 plus 0.5 gives minus 4.5. And this formula I will continue uh, for some time. So we will go up to uh, plus 5 value. So the remaining I will remove. So that's it. So we have made uh, values for x now. So the x values varies from uh, minus 5 to plus 5. Now corresponding y value I want to calculate. So that's where this uh, the big equation on top will be helpful for us to calculate. So as it is whatever equation is there on the top I will put it down uh, in the form of an equation here. So I'll do it slowly. You can also see the equation appearing at the top of the video there here. So, okay, uh, I'll take the positive term first. So I'll just simply give SQRT, double bracket. So one minus, okay, in the place of X, I select this uh, cell A, A37, okay, and minus, in the case of P, I select this cell, which is B33. Uh, since these are parameters, and I intend to copy this uh, formula to different sheet, uh, different cells in the Excel, I have to put dollar symbol here so that is a minus p then to the power of 2 divided by again a which is my b31 cell so again uh, let me add dollars for that and uh, square of it then closing bracket multiplication then b which is this so again let me add dollar for that and then dollar for this again square the term close bracket plus 
and then Q. Again, let me add some dollar for that. So uh, basically, what I did is mechanically just repeated whatever equation is there on top. I just saw that and copied down here. Uh, and okay, it says error, but uh, nothing to be alarmed about this error because this error is expected since a value is three and my x value is minus five. So this square root term becomes negative and this y is not defined there. So okay, I I just put it five over here and okay now it is zero. It's correct. Uh, there is a negative value for y, so I make one more column y and and then let me copy this formula as it is from the top. Say copy. And then uh, I'll go to this cell and say is equal to minus and then paste it. So basically, we are putting the same formula in both these cells uh, with minus sign on the second one. Now that we have given these two formulas, I can simply select these cells and double click on this corner dot it fills the table so we have a set of values all the way up to x equal to minus 5 to plus 5 now the only thing left is to take a plot of this and see what comes out so insert chart let me take a xy chart Okay, so here uh, here we have, it, it looks like a circle. Yeah, it, it is a circle because we have uh, used same values for the parameters. Let me move this figure up. Okay, so one small step that uh, I want to do here is uh, fixing up the axis of this uh, plot so that when I change the values of parameters, the axis won't get disturbed. I'm just fixing it to minus six and plus six. Even for x axis, I'm fixing it, the axis to minus six to plus six. So now that the axis are fixed, let me also call the uh, grid for that. Grid lines in x, yeah. So now we are all set the whole purpose of this uh, video was to come to this point where uh, now I can manipulate this uh, parameters and see what kind of uh, figure comes okay so let's start by decreasing B uh, from 5 I'll make it 4 uh, you see that the height of the ellipse decreases and make it 3 or make it 2 or make it 1 so by changing this parameter B we are able to control the height of the ellipse and now uh, let's uh, go back to some 3 now I'll do it with y sorry a, a value now a is 3 so we can uh, get this lesser width of a a is 2 and a is 1 so this way we can find we can get different shapes of ellipses in both this uh, x and y directions now uh, what happens if I change P and Q these are supposed to change the center of the ellipse so let's move the ellipse in x axis direction so for that I have to give positive value to P P is the x position of the center so let's say I want to move it two units towards right so I'll say P equal to two enter and I see that uh, the ellipse moves two units right and uh, or if I say minus two it, it moves two units left from the uh, origin similarly with Q I'll say let's say three for Q so it moves three units up okay and like this so let me make it a one by one circle so that we can for example I want to put it on put this uh, circle here at four comma four I can always give four and four at PQ and the circle moves over there so uh, so I think this is what I want to show in this video how you can uh, take the equation of the ellipse and make it change by changing the parameters. Thank you.